Well, here we are, Pete. We're uh, at yet another air show. Yep. This is the uh, Air Venture 2019 at Parks Airfield. And today, Sunday, is the first day when it's actually been quite nice. Yesterday was a day from hell. We started off in the morning uh, with dust everywhere, huge dust storms, wind picking up, gusting 40, 50 knots. They even had to evacuate the whole area. But today, it's like my friend said, it's just another planet today. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, a little bit about the Alto. Um, we, yeah. This is the first time the Alto has been out uh, up north. We had it at Avalon, uh, yeah. and now we've got it here in um, Parks. Yeah, that's right, we've got it in Parks. We did have it in Wollongong at the air show a few months ago as well. Um, so yeah, it's the first time venturing. I think we've been a bit further north, but for an air show, yeah, Parks, very nice. And also, I believe uh, there's another one on the water, just left. Yeah, that's right. There's one left the factory uh, about a week or so ago, our first customer order, um, and should be in the customer's hands in the next six weeks or so, something like that. Um, so, yeah, I think, uh, considering I think the aviation, light aviation market anyway, is it's been fairly quiet this year for us in comparison. We've probably only sold half the number of planes we normally would sell. Um, so the market's been down a little bit, but just lately I've noticed it's really started picking up and uh, <laughs> in the last 10 days alo alone we've sold uh, two Fox Bats and two Vixens so maybe things are picking up again now. <laughs> okay well uh, good to uh, uh, see Fox Bat Australia out there active in the uh, aviation world. There it is. Well here we are and we've met who? Paul Johnson. I believe you are a fox bat owner. I sure am. Pilot. Sure am. For about uh, ten months, I've had my fox bat. It's a great plane. Uh, Ido dropped it off me with Pete uh, to me to go and get high range. I don't know if you remember that, but that's where it was. Yeah, no, that's a smart spot to have a fox bat. And what are the main reasons you like a fox bat? Oh, just for the stall characteristics, take off and landing and looks. It's generally why I like it. Yeah. And uh, whereabouts do you actually uh, take off from here? Yeah, private airstrip, so just so straight out my, straight out my own property, 450 metres long and straight out, and away we go. It's great, great fun. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the actual fun of flying it? What, what are the main things you like about a box bag? Uh, you get a reasonable cruise, uh, but mainly I guess the stall characteristics and just getting in and out of places. Yeah, just a great all round really. Fuel wise, how much fuel are you burning? Oh, probably on average, probably about, if I go out for an hour, hour and a half, maybe 20, 25 litres. Perfect. Cool. $60? Not even that, is it? What's that? What does it work out to be? $30 in fuel? You can spend that going to uh, the cinema. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show. At least we've got a good day. No worries. Yeah, that's it. Um, beautiful uh, parks. I'm in love. I'm absolutely it's the most love I've ever been in, and I've been married twice. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me a little bit about this aircraft. How long have you had it? Um, okay, well, I bought it about 18 months ago. Um, I'd been flying the Fox Bat beforehand, and uh, as soon as I saw it at the Narrow Mine Air Show, I just fell in love with it. Thought it was a beautiful little aircraft, and since I've owned it, I've realised just how capable it is. It's a really capable little aircraft. Get in and out of short, rough strips, and then it'll bolt on off and cruise at 115 so I'm yeah I'm in love <laughs> so uh, we're just looking at tell me a little bit out of this color I mean it's just <laughs> yeah well I hadn't seen the, uh, the, the 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 red in the aeroprac range other than in photos so I wasn't there's so many different shades of red I wasn't too sure but I the color of my car my Mazda car is this this red and I love that color so I asked Peter uh, who, who runs Foxbat Australia, if I could get it in that colour. And he contacted the factory and they said, yeah, we can do it in Mazda A4 red. And I get nothing but compliments on just what a lovely red it is. So I'm very happy with that too. And one last question. Uh, a little bit about uh, the differences between the uh, A22 and the, um, the Vixen, the A32. Well, it flies pretty much the same as the Foxbat. Uh, a little bit different in the seating so that the view to the horizon is a bit different, but pretty much the same other than when you turn base. From when you turn base, it's a completely different aircraft. You've got to fly it by the numbers, you know, exactly. It's slower, a lot slower, and you, you, you can't let the speed build up because it's a really slippery airframe. If you let the speed 
build up over 50 on base and on final, and 45 over the fence, um, it'll just float forever. But otherwise, um, you know, if you keep it on the numbers, it'll it'll be down and stopped in 50 meters if you want it to be. Yeah, and you've got a little advantage in the cruise too. So. Of course, yeah. The, 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 and that's the thing is that it actually soars a, a little bit less, or one or two knots less than the fox bat, and it flies 20 knots faster than the fox bat, um, which you know, if, if you're going on a on a, on a trip somewhere, is a considerable uh, improvement. It's great, yeah. And at 15 liters an hour, it's you know, it's just all around good, good, good. There's nothing nothing bad about this aircraft at all. Fantastic. I know what I've been talking to. Oh, I'm Steve. Hey, Steve. <laughs> Steve. And Hudson. you're from? And I'm from Ralston. Come up to Ralston. Fly the dream. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Uh, we've got a beautiful day for a change, and we've got a young gentleman called Stuart who's going for a tip in a foxbat, his first foxbat flip up today. And here's Mum. <laughs> Videoing. <laughs> There you go, one very relieved moment of sun's return. So, uh, here we have a young gentleman. Uh, well, he's already a pilot, he's got 16 hours. Uh, so who am I talking to? Um, my name's Stuart, I'm from Lillardale Airfield around there. Um, I primarily fly Jabiroos and I'm looking to go for a bush plane. Well, uh, I better ask you, this is your first time in a Foxbat. Um, Correct. And I bet you had a little go of it. I did, so didn't have uh, that much of a flight, but had enough for me to like it. Got up there, did a little bit of a circuit, a few turns as well, and then came back down. Ton of fun, and I think I want to fly this a little bit more later on. <laughs> and uh, what would be the main attribute of a Foxbat? Because you have got other aircraft you've flown. So I've really only flown Jabiru 160C, uh, Piper Warrior 2 and a uh, Tiger Moth. Not too much. I know a little bit about the Pushcat as well because I helped build that. But um, just looking at it, this is the first real bush plane that I've actually flown or um, more um, S-Tol plane. And I don't know, something I'm looking at is mainly the visibility. That looks pretty good. I'm not too sure. I'd, need to fly a bit more to figure that out. Now that's fair enough. And uh, one final question, uh, have you had a good week? Definitely, had an amazing week. Yeah, and you've got an amazing mother too, I have to say. <laughs> she supports what you do. She does, which is good. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. So over and out from? Stuart. Great, Stuart, thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, uh, I just got a couple of these kids that are driving me mad. Now, what's your name? <laughs> kebab. Kebab? Yes, kebab. Kebab, he should be on a stick, on a skewer. Yeah, and yeah. he's trying to tell me that my camera's a load of... Yeah. <laughs> what camera do you like? Oh, contours. Contours, get it Yes, here. okay. And this guy's a mountain bike rider. And he's been here all week doing bush gap building. Yeah. And he's trying to tell me that he knows more about photography than I do. And I have to agree, he probably does. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What better camera? Yes. See, and mine comes with a cap. Yeah, now that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, I agree with that. That's I don't a... see a cap on yours. Yeah, okay. So we've had a bit of a, a verbal battle. And, uh, <laughs> he's out spars with me, uh, <laughs> Mr. Kebab. And uh, his mate, who's just been foxbat flying. Is he, yep. is he all right? Is he genuine? Oh, I think so. You think so? <laughs> yeah, you're not totally convinced. I only met him this week. I've only met him about <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> no, Monday. Monday. All right. Well, um, best of luck to both of you. Yes. Go do it. Yes. Are you, gonna, are you gonna Are you gonna video uh, the bush cat flight later on? It's not, it's not much in the way of telephoto. Yeah. It's a little aeroplane. We'll try. Oh, you got to video it. Come on. It's, oh, you you can give me the wall crown. It's it's it's, give me the, it's the greatest aeroplane there is because it's built by Five. the heart. Yeah, by, yeah. by these two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just by us. <laughs> All right, I'm not going right. to waste any more of my smaller card. Oh, what card's yours got in it? So, oh, I've got a smaller one than you, mate. Like an eight gigabyte? No, 64. Ah, oh, can't it take 108? Fuck her off. <laughs> Who am 
am I with anyway? Anthony Barrows. Anthony, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah. Mike Grudd. Yeah, yeah pleased to meet you. Yeah, so good. just tell me a little bit about this project. Uh, well, that's, this is the one they built, and they got 25 school kids, and they uh, they banged this machine together in uh, five and a half days. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. So, isn't it? It's, it's, a, it's a, a real achievement for, for the young kids. So, um, yeah, it's on its maiden flight now, and we did a bit of test, test fly, uh, the, uh, the run up yes, with the, the early this morning. So, uh, all good. So, we're about just about ready to uh, take off and go do yeah, it. Go do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bush cat, baby. Way, woo! <laughs> hey, Joe, cool. So, you know, that's the uh, that's the end of um, you know. 25 wow. kids in seven days. Wow. Let's go Start off as a uh, five boxes at the beginning of the week, and you know a week later it's taxiing to go into its first flight. So James, uh, he's me the mechanic for the motor. Uh, he's flying it. Okay. Yes. And you're going to fly it next, is that right? Oh uh, no. Uh, sometime I will fly it. Hopefully. <laughs> and how many rivets did you put in? Oh, uh, about a hundred. That's beautiful. So, uh, I'm told this is the most beautiful aeroplane in Australia. Well, we like to think it is. Uh, my name's Nick War. I'm from PLA Aviation. We're the uh, black, black Shape importer. Um, so this is the uh, the BK100, the Black Shape Prime, and um, uh, it's got a um, retractable undercarriage, um, constant speed unit, and it's made by the Italians, so it's nice, nicely uh, fitted out. So, given that that it's Italian, that's that's the answer to the question. We, that's why we say it's the most beautiful aircraft in the world. And I tend to think uh, it's a real head turner. <laughs> yeah, uh, we've had a lot of interest uh, while we've been here as well. Yeah, so yeah. One uh, obvious question: What's it like to fly? It's great. No, it's really it, the, the controls are very direct. Um, I learned to fly in a, in a Texan, and I like that plane also. But um, what I sort of say about it is, where you look, you go. Um, so it's it's very small movements, very small inputs into the controls give you give you large uh, large input large inputs into the um, ailerons and and uh, and the um, uh, rudder. Yeah. Perfect. And just a couple of things on the stats of the aeroplane, its uh, yep. performance. So it's, a, it's got a Rotax 912 engine in it, normally aspirated, constant speed unit as I said. Um, cruises at about 140, 145 knots. Um, we come over the fence at about 70 knots, that I do. Some people come in a little bit slower than that. Um, and uh, 19 litre burn for your Rotax, everyone knows that engine. Um, so we get about four hours flight time, so you know, with 100 litres of fuel. So that's a fair old range. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, lastly, uh, where are you based and uh, how can people find you? Yeah, well, you can find us on the internet. Just search Black Shape Australia um, or PLA Aviation. Um, and we're at, we're, our, our hangar is at Tyre, but we do most of our flying at, um, at Turidan, which is in Victoria on the Mornington Peninsula. Um, yeah, so um, you can come down and have a fly with, um, with Ian uh, at Turidan Flying School anytime you want. Or if you're game, you can come up with me. <laughs> well, thanks very much. Thanks very much. I'm just going to have a quick look around them. No problem Thank at all. Thank you. I have to say, one real cool bit is the way the uh, headrest is uh, folded back with the canopy. Very nice touch. We move up and back, yeah. so we deliberately flew it a couple of circuits without latching the canopy and it just stays shut. Uh, we're in an Alto, 912. And, uh, and who am I talking to? Jonathan. Jonathan, do you yeah. fly? I do. And what do you normally fly? Uh, Technam. A te oh, that's a nice P airplane. P92 on a Sierra. Wow, yeah. cool. And what do you reckon to this um, little ship? Uh, it's a nice bit of gear. It's very nicely finished. It uh, looks very strong. It's got good capacities. Um, yeah, it's a nice aircraft. I want one. You want one? Yeah. Oh, well, that, that, now there's a good compliment. <laughs> uh, what about the price? Priced right. Priced right? Yep. Uh, yeah, it's nicely specced and, and this one's for sale, so I'll have to do some thinking when I get home. Well, uh, look, I have to say, uh, I, I'm really a high winger, mm. man, uh, but I came up in this mm. from uh, Tyre. Yep. I was very impressed, mm. very comfortable. It's comfortable, it's wide, it's, uh, 
yeah, it's a nice aircraft. And I have to say, it handled, we had a bit of turbulence on the way up, no problem mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, I was looking at that, 110 knots for turbulence. Beautiful. Cool. Anyway, I know you're not a camera guy, <laughs> but uh, thank you for being subjected to uh, no worries. and his mad cameras. <laughs> Rock on. <laughs> It'll be on YouTube with Edo. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you very much.